ChatGPT has been dominating the tech world in the past couple of months, and as we all knew, it was only a matter of time before Google jumped right into the chatbot game and released their own version. Google announced they are developing their chatbot called Bard. In a blog post published today, Google CEO Sundar Pichai revealed the initiative and called the program an experimental conversational AI service that will engage in discussions and respond to user inquiries. According to Pichai, a small number of trusted testers will get access to the software starting today and then will be more broadly available to the public in the coming weeks. Although the specific capabilities of BART are unknown, it appears that the chatbot will be just as adaptable as OpenAI's ChatGPT. Users are encouraged by a screenshot to ask BART useful questions like how to organize a baby shower or what kinds of meals may be produced with a list of lunchtime components. Pachai says, BART can be an outlet for creativity and a launch pad for curiosity helping you to explain new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old, or learn more about best strikers in football right now, and then get drills to build your skills. Bard may be able to respond to queries regarding current events, something ChatGPT struggles with, according to Pachai, who also notes that Bard draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high-quality responses. The hurried release and dearth of details about BARD are unmistakable indicators of the code red that last year's ChatGPT's introduction set off within Google. Despite the fact that the underlying technology of ChatGPT is not innovative, millions of people were made aware of this novel method of automatic text synthesis thanks to OpenAI's choice to make the system freely available online. Discussions regarding ChatGPT's impacts on employment, education, and of special relevance to Google, the future of internet search have been seismic. Microsoft has also seized the opportunity after pouring billions of dollars into OpenAI. The company reportedly plans to include ChatGPT into both its Bing search engine and additional items in its Office software lineup. Just last week, screenshots demonstrating a ChatGPT-enhanced Bing were released. Even though Google pioneered the technology, the transformer that forms the T in GPT, and has extensive knowledge of the type of AI that enables ChatGPT, the company has so far been more careful about making its tools available to the general public. Previously, Google made Lambda, the language model that serves as the foundation for BARD, accessible through its AI Test Kitchen app. However, this version is rather limited and can only produce content relevant to a small number of queries. Google has been worried about a backlash against unproven AI, as have other tech behemoths. Large language models like Lambda and GPT-3.5, which powers ChatGPT, have well-documented propensities to spread harmful content like hate speech and to confidently assert false information, to the point that one professor likens such systems to bullshit generators. Certainly not a flattering description for technology some claim could replace search engines. In 2021, Google itself investigated the drawbacks of AI-accelerated search. The upcoming release of BARD represents a shift in Google's perspective on this technology. Although Pichai emphasizes in his blog post that Google will use external feedback with our own internal testing to make sure BARD's responses meet a high bar for quality, safety, and groundedness in a real-world information, it is essentially inevitable that the system will make mistakes, some of which may be serious. In the meantime, Google continues to emphasize how it has already incorporated AI into several of its platforms, including search. Google has been using AI to summarize an increasing number of search results over the past several years, revealing content from websites rather than letting people click and explore on their own. According to Pichai's tweet, the following features will likely be increasingly common in the future. Soon, you'll see AI-powered features in search that distill complex information in multiple perspectives into easy-to-digest formats, so you can quickly understand the big picture and learn more from the web, whether that's seeking out additional perspectives, like blogs from people who play both piano and guitar, or going deeper on a related topic, like steps to get started as a beginner. These new AI features will begin rolling out on Google Search soon. Google is holding an event focusing on search and AI on Wednesday, which I'm sure will be filled with even more developments. Come back to this channel after the event to see what you may have missed.